Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here and this is going to be your daily tarot reading April 5th, 2018. Four cards spread, the first, one, the first one is showing the topic of the day and this is going to be the Nine of Cups. The second one it is showing uh, the things we should constrain ourselves of doing or what should not be done during the day, that will be the Six of Wands. The third card shows up things we should be prone doing here, or rather what we should do during that day. That is the star card. And the last one is <coughs> the positive outcome of in case these two um, conditions here are kept. And that will be the two of wands. Alright, so nine of cups guys. The day is going to be extremely pleasant in the sense of that we're going to experience a, uh, it's not just only happiness but as well satisfaction and emotional fulfillment either into our career in case we're finding ourselves working during that day or into our relationship. <clears throat> the Nine of Cups speaks that um, the fortune itself is laying its hands upon us you know the people and it also makes it eases our pain and it amplifies our achievements toward positive end very important however is to be said that with the nine of cups we should not um, how can I place it we should not we should not stop there you know that the nine of cups is a like a um, milestone before we actually traverse the uh, temporary happiness or temporary success, temporary emotional fulfillment into a, a long lasting one. So let me give you one example. Let's say that you and a certain girl or a boy, depending on what you like, <clears throat> are dating and you share with one another that you really like one another you know but it, and uh, but if you don't continue on you know dating and if you don't continue on hanging out together it is kind of like this particular emotional fulfillment of realizing that you have shared emotions is going to fade away and vaporize eventually you know so it's kind of it's kind of you need to work toward that direction which you find that emotional uh, satisfaction during this particular day now the nine of cups is one of the the cards where the people say that the wish is coming true well for me the nine of cups is a card saying that the wish almost has came true and now it's the time that where we should roll up our sleeves and toil for it more than ever because we are at the final line here the final straight line before we as i said traverse it into a long lasting one so you know that could be a uh, um <clears throat> prerequisite to uh, stabilize your marriage, to stabilize your relationship or to stabilize as well, you know, your career, as I said, in case you work today. And then we go to the card which points what we should restrict ourselves of doing. This is the six of uh, wands, the self-confidence guys, the cockiness we may have, the adopted feeling that we are always right and we know more than others, you know, and we can do things better than others. For example, uh, this is very common into relationships where one of the partners think, thinks that they are always right and if they are not in presence, their partner is gonna go down into a hellhole you know and they their life is going to be ruined because one thinks that it is his uh, or one thinks that the other one survives because of him you know which is not true in that particular sense so it's kind of like uh, I'm not saying that you need to drop off your self-confidence and pride and pride guys but you need to be more compassionate when you when you deal with people and you should you should not look them from a high horse it is what I'm trying to say here and when uh, you see a good performance you know either to your partner or your colleague etc etc today don't be shy to accolade it to accolade them for it you know even if uh, this means that you need to put your pride on the shelf for a while because it's gonna pay off in a big time because the six of wands sometimes is a card as well of receiving a helping hand and if you look cocky today and if you look people from a high horse they will not give you further into the into the future the help you may require okay and uh, especially as we do have the star card here as the things you should be prone doing and the star card is it is about a, a long distant um, 
goal that you may look forward to but as well the star card is about support all right unconditional support from a different party which means that this long distant goal that you may start looking forward to like you know marriage like uh, engagement or a, a big project at work etc etc cannot be achieved if you go for it alone and that is completely understandable about marriage you know and, and engagement let's say that you want to be engaged to your partner but you're looking at them from a high horse you know how did you how then you are expecting that uh, they are going to propose you Ivar as they think that you are smothered smothering them beneath the toe and this is just a um, this is guys just a, a warning not to do it you know I'm not saying that we all do it it is just that day because we're gonna feel on the crest of the tide here you know the brow of the tide uh, we are gonna have that emotional fulfillment when people feel like they're on the top of the world they do have that affinity to adopt the feeling that they are more than others so I highly advise you not to lose yourself you know into the euphoria you may experience during that day because some of us are also going to experience a a euphoria as well and uh, that could really win them quite away and they may lose the touch of reality here when it comes to communications with other people so that being said it will be very important here as well to be grounded <clears throat> it is a another extraction of a um, you know of conviction of conviction from the uh, from the tarot cards but yeah the star card generally says that today will be a good day for you to start planning big time for a uh, long distant future not for the immediate one not for the near future but for the distant one now the star card it is also a about unfolding love and with that particular sense guys if you do feel that you are not showing much of much of appreciation or rather like you're not showing enough how much you love certain people like your children you know or, or your partner parents as well siblings that today is the day where you do it because <clears throat> as I said it's gonna pay off a big time first of all it's gonna show how compassionate you are to these people and how much you care for them and as well we'll show to these people that they can count on you and you're not gonna look at them from a high horse again when they ask you about something and this will be returned in case you ask them about something as well and the results of all that is where we do have the two of wands so this is uh, first of all the two here is looked at a, a number two into numerology it is what i like to say which speaks for peace all right all right and also speaks for power over um over certain people in the sense of that they will listen to you because you have showed compassion and you have shown them that you can listen and you can work for the common good here as well as the card that points that you are gonna have some doors opening for yourself because the two of wands um as a result of all that into a, a distant future will point you that through the will uh, is saying that through the support you will require of your development you know so that is going to be as well as support through development of yours you will have much more versatility uh, on your behalf to work with and as well much more varieties where you can actually implement the knowledge and the skills <clears throat> that you uh, that you are obtaining so let me this is making me think for one example let's say that today uh, this is just an example again let's say that today you meet a person brand new for yourself you know and um, you start talking about job etc etc and it turns out that this person you know is uh, is having a business and they need a guy just like you all right and they are quite impressed here they will be with the nine of cups and just because they are impressed you start becoming cocky all right with uh, the six of cup with the six of wands and you start telling them what they need to do instead of agreeing with them and giving them a, a certain proposition for a resolution of their uh, of their issues and this is the way how they may have a change of heart of hiring you while if you go along with them then they are going to open you a door for something that you will have quite of a distant you know goal that you will look forward to so Bottom line, guys, is that regardless of how beautiful place you're finding yourself at and we are finding ourselves at, we should be always humble uh, about, you know, the things we have on our disposal and the capabilities we do obtain because um, 
Remember that guys, no matter how good you are at something and how knowledgeable you are at something, this is a broad world, it is quite of a big world and there is always someone who is better, skilled and knowledgeable than we are, alright, in a certain extent. So that being said, this was your uh, tarot reading for April 5th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.